hi guys well in this video i would like to share with all of you uh, how, how we can use or how we can apply a command which is under sheet metal which is known as vent okay it is under sheet metal module or sheet metal toolbar uh, and uh, the command that i'm going to share with all of you is known as van which, which is this one okay van all right so now let's get started let's say i'm going to create a, a piece of sheet metal let's say the uh, it's a rectangle shape whereby the dimension for uh, this particular of each is this i'm going to make it 100 it doesn't matter okay you can just simply create uh, any uh, or you can yeah, key in any uh, value of dimensions that you preferred okay so let's say this age I'm going to indicate with 150 and once after done everything I'm going to uh, go to sheet metal I'm going to have a best base flange whereby let's I'm going to maintain the uh, sheet metal thickness with 2 mm right so just click OK and then I'm going to create uh, the flange for all these four edges one two three four okay all these four edges uh, and let's say I'm going to pick the this each and uh, let's see the height of the edge over here okay I'm going to indicate as 40 mm and since I've already selected this edge so to uh, the rest of the edge I'm going to pick at the at the this edge as well all right so I mean you can think like that so let's say everything looks fine for me okay done and uh, now it's time for me to create a vent let's say I'm going to create a vent over here okay on this particular of surface um I'm going to pick this surface as my sketch plane. Alright. And then I'm going to create, let's say, a circle here. And let's say I'm going to indicate the dimension of the circle. Uh, whereby the diameter is, let's say, I'm going to make it uh, 70 mm and i'm going to offset this circle with uh let's say i'm going to maintain 10 mm you can you can uh you know key in or you can use any any dimension if you want to okay it's, it's up to you all right so for this particular case for this example i just use 10 mm in order to offset this particular of circle all right so i'm going to pick this circle and i'm going to offset it reverse right and i'm going to again offset with 10 mm and this time I'm going to offset this circle inside so I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to have another one more offset uh, which is this offset I'm going to offset and I'm going to uh, offset it inside so I need to reverse it reverse okay like that right so let's say I do have like this kind of uh, sketch and then I'm going to add a line from this quadrant to this quadrant okay and another line from this quadrant to this quadrant okay that's it okay so yeah you you can create uh, any kind of shape but this is actually uh, one of the example that we can apply in order to play around with our van command here which is under shape method okay now is this uh, uh, now this is time this is the time for us to uh, use this particular of uh, command which is vent so click vent all right and this is boundary say so boundary you just pick the most outside circle for this particular case okay this one all right <coughs> and then under ribs here ribs okay click this particular of area first make sure that is uh, uh, highlighted with uh, uh, light uh, blue like this 
right? And then you're going to pick this one and also this one together with this one, right? So this one, this one, and also this one, these three circles uh, uh, will act as a ribs. And for sparse, you can just simply click this one and you're going to pick this one as well as this one, all right? And as you can see over here, this is actually the thickness, the thickness of this, the, the width, oh sorry, the width of these ribs, okay? For ribs here, this is actually the thickness of these ribs uh, or the width of this rib, whereas for sparse, this is actually the, this one, since this is sparse, right? This is sparse, so this is also the width, 2 mm is the width of this, this sparse. So let's I'm going to maintain with same uh, the width of the rib same with sparse the width so I'm going to make it two mm as well here like that and then once after confirm you just need to click OK okay there you are so we already have uh, uh, this particular of uh, shape on this surface which is known as a vent all right so there's another one more thing that I would like to uh, share for all of you whereby let's see under ribs here okay as you can see over here, because i would like to show to you the difference uh, at this particular of area as you can see over here we do have like this kind of shape for this particular area okay i want you to focus on this particular of area so now let's say i'm going to edit this vent and under ribs here under ribs here for this one which is arc 3 the most smallest uh, circle here which is uh, sorry arc 4 okay, arc 4 i'm going to delete this arc 4 okay ribs and then i'm going to scroll down and fill in boundary i'm going to click this fill in boundary and this time i'm going to pick this particular of circle the smallest circles okay there you are so once after confirm just click okay so it means that if you fill in boundary, it means that at this particular of area, you'll, it will fill with like this one, okay? It will fill like this one, okay? So this is how you can uh, apply the uh, van uh, under the sheet metals. Okay, guys, so hopefully that you uh, understand about this particular of uh, van applications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Thank you very much.